this video series, we are going to build a Pulsar iframe of 2.5 as cheaply as possible and as closely as possible to the original one. When it comes to 3D printers, the Prusa iFreeMark series stands out from other 3D printers, not only for the looks but also for the quality of printing that you get. However, this 3D printer has a high price tag. But what makes them so special and can we build one for a cheaper price? Well, let's find out. There are three main components that makes the Prusa iFreeMark series so special. The frame, the heated bed, and also the firmware. We are going to use these components but using an Arduino and a Rep 1.4 to reduce the price even more. This is the aluminium frame which is from PCBWay which is the sponsor for this video. PCBWay has recently started offering CNC cutting services for a very affordable price. They also offer good quality PCB prototyping services. They also offer other services such as 3D printing, metal sheet cutting and also injection molding. So if you need any of these services, make sure to check PCBWay. Let's now get back to our project. We will be needing some 8mm smooth rods, 10mm threaded rod, 8mm lead screws, Eight millimeter threaded rods, five NEMA seventies stepper motors. I am using the one point eight degrees one. We will also need some LM8UU, which is an 8mm linear bearing, some shaft couplers, ten millimeter net, ten millimeter washer, eight millimeter net. 8mm washer, some idle pulley, and three screws of different length, and also M3 nuts. I will also be using an M12 inductive sensor instead of a Pinda probe to reduce the price further. And I will also be using an E3D V6 hot end. I will not be using the MK1 heated bed, but instead I will be using the MK52 of 12 volt heated bed, which is the newer and more reliable heated bed from Pusa. I will be sharing the links where you can buy this online. We will also need the RipRap Smart Graphic Controller, its adapter, and also its wires. We will also be using the 12 volt 240 watt of our supply. We also need a bunch of 3D printed parts which make up the frame.
we will start by making the y-axis carriage. For that, we will be needing the 10mm threaded rod, nut, and washers. I am using the 3D printed Y corners to fix the 10mm threaded rod to make up the Y axis carriage. I then tighten the screws and repeat the process for the other side. We can now add the 8mm threaded rod to the frame. Make sure to add it as shown. This is where the motor will fit. Once the nuts are tightened, place it on the frame to check for the dimension. You may require to unscrew the 8mm nut to make it fit the frame. Once fitted, you will have to tighten the M8 nut. Then repeat the process for the front part. Once you are satisfied with the dimension, recheck it to make sure that the dimensions are correct. I then check for the squareness of the frame. If required, you may unscrew the M10 nut to make the frame perfectly squared. We will be needing the middle length smooth rod for our Y axis. Place the smooth rod on the frame. If the frame is shorter than the smooth rod, you will have to readjust the M10 nut to make sure that the smooth rod fits the frame. Then recheck for squareness. I will now put the 8mm linear bearing to the Y-axis carriage using some zip ties and then place it on the Y-axis by inserting it in the smooth rod. Make sure the sides are correct and also check if the Y-axis carriage is sliding correctly. I will now put the belt This is an spacer that is required for the heated bed Then add some zip ties to secure the smooth rod and then cut it off. Now put the idle pulley by inserting it first on the belt, then secure it to the frame. Then place the Y axis stepper motor 
and tighten it with the screw. Now our Y axis carriage is complete. I will continue this building process in the next episode. In the next episode, we will continue the building process and at the end, we will be having a fully functional, cheap Fusa iFreeMark 2.5 3D printer. I hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure to subscribe if you have. And I will see you next time.